was at peace, and so there wasn't much Wilbur had to do to maintain their nation. With the addition of a few new players, Lamambert went from the only independent nation to just another spot on the SMP, a shadow of the glory it once held. And Wilbur, although being the leader of their nation, began to feel his power slipping away. His lack of presence on the server and self-declaration as president meant that he was not getting the respect or admiration he wanted as a leader. This simple fact sparked a plan in Wilbur's mind. A plan for him and Tommy to reclaim the power they rightfully deserve. Wilbur thought, what better way of getting power than having the people themselves go free? They would hold an election. But not a normal election. Wilbur's plan was to notify no one that the election would be taking place until after the ballots had shut, leaving him as the only running party, thus forcing the people to vote only for them and swiftly taking back their power. After making Tommy his running mate, the two ventured off to Lamander to write the election ballot. They then proceeded to set the date of the election and named their party the Right the Best. That's my personal favorite political party. After that, they began work on their new policies. Some of the most important included, We won the war. Big Star will vote for us. Tubbo. And we will make big things. Feeling very confident that these new policies would gain them the support of the entire server, Wilbur and Tommy bragged about their plans to one player. Someone new. A man who would seek to ruin their plans of taking power and win the position of president for himself. Ladies and gentlemen, this man was quacking. Where do I start with Quackity? Holding over 4 million subs today, Quackity has established himself as one of the bigger personalities on the SMP. Always looking for a chance at power wherever he can find it, he isn't afraid to do whatever it takes find his way to the top. Whether it be starting an illegal business or masterminding a robbery, Quackity is no stranger to crime on the SMP. But today, he will be putting all that behind him. He will be pursuing something else. Because he was the only other player who knew about the election, he took it upon himself to stand up against their one-party system and give the people a choice. Announcing his campaign right in front of Wilbur and Tommy, Quackity's party will be titled So We Are Gamers, or Swag for short. Sure. And with this, Tommy and Wilbur had to think fast, or control in their own nation will be pulled out from under them. Following the addition of the second party, both sides scrambled to recruit as many people as they could to help them win the election. But before they began, Wilbur and Tommy knew that they had to change the name of their party. The Right The Best was a good name. Okay, maybe not, but they knew there was only one word that could compete with swag. One word that was universally better and would provide them a basis of recruiting players to their side. They would run as the politicians of gaming. Their new party would be as the Pog and Swag parties began their campaigns across the server, they attempted to convince as many people as possible to side with them in the election. Starting with Tubbo, the politicians of Ganon managed to recruit people and win a team. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five years. For them, an idea of like summer after the drop. So sorry this happened. They were too slow. By the time they were able to ask for George's vote, his allegiance already lied with Quackity. With this, Tommy and Wilbur knew there was a long way to head in the election, and it would not be as easy as they thought. But they still had a few tricks up their sleeves. Tommy attempted to smear Quackity's reputation by creating a collection of fake quotes that made him look bad. He had also taken notes of money from Chile as a part of the money that did not need to be Using these, Tommy hoped to be able to bribe the same of his way to win a Clown 2020 in Russia.
The Dream SMP has ostracized my group of people, my European brethren stood behind me. Le Manberg is not a place of oppression, it is a place of sanctuary for our people. What you are intending to do is come into our land and open it up to the, the very people we seek to escape, just because we've created a better life for ourselves. This in itself is tyranny, I will not stand for it. Well, we're embracing tradition here. We don't need to embrace tradition. We, we are a new generation of politicians, Wilder. I hope you remember Embracing your, your old school policy is just going to hurt uh, progress. They're all quite frankly. These, these policies were formed from blood. Not long ago. Your policies are blood from war. Your policies are blood from war. We were an oppressed people, faculty. I led these people to freedom, and I will keep and uphold the policies. I will uphold the policies with freedom. The man works orders as long as I'm in charge will stay closed to all who are non-European. Choose Wilbur. The, the, the people get to choose Wilbur. Topic number two was their stances on the killing of pets, as an ongoing pet war ensued in the background of the main story. If I am re-elected as president. I would like to create a police force that will uphold the law so that no further pets are killed in the number. Who are going to take this in? I think we... Embrace your inner barista with Calafia Farms. Whip up plant-based lattes with oat barista. Or sip dreamy iced coffee with our delicious and sacred almonds. Always deliciously dairy-free.
was twenty. When this was a simpler time in the server, we all lived in harmony, and it was very nice, very peaceful, and we loved it. And then you came along. We started wars, battles, killings. The list goes on. And simply, my opinion on conflict is we should keep it to a minimum. Clearly, in your mind, you want it to a maximum. We will have to have a war in the future. If you get elected, what changes will you make for the better? Oh, that's a very good point. I think we're going to make sure this tyranny, this war, this—I'd say just.